Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Savvy Cast. This is Jamie, and I'm so grateful to all of you for joining, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast. Okay, guys, I went to Costco and I have a haul that I cannot wait to share with you all. And but basically, what I'm going to share with you all today are Costco must haves for making cooking for a crowd easy. Okay. Y'all may or may not know that we have what we call small group at our home every Monday night. Now, sometimes we lead with some of our dearest friends. Occasionally, it's at their house. If it's not at their house, it's at our house. But suffice it to say, small group, we do big cooking because we've got about 24 people. And it's just what we do. We cook. We love to Love on our young married couples by feeding them before we do the fellowship and Bible study. So I found some things, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited that I can't wait until um, Monday and some ensuing small groups to use all of this fabulous, fabulous food. So what I'm going to start with is something that is different. I've never done this before at small group. This could be something that you do for your family. Maybe when everyone's at home for the holidays and you're cooking breakfast, but you want something quick and easy, but filling. This is the idea that I have. Now, these Belgian waffles, I'm going to, they're petite Belgian waffles. I've been getting these forever. I can't even remember how long. So I'm going to open this package. I'm sorry for my podcast peeps. I know this is loud and you can't see, but I want you to see my YouTube peeps. These are individually wrapped and they are called petite Belgian waffles, but this fills up the palm of my hand. This is about a slider bun size. When I tell you these are fabulous straight out of the wrapper, I am not exaggerating. They taste like they've got a little magical sugar coating. I mean, I don't know. My friend Marie Marino and I, we talk about these. They're so good. You can use these for anything. I made a set of bridesmaids boxes for her daughter's wedding. All the bridesmaids got a box to eat for before that, while they were getting ready for the wedding. We had these waffles we had cheese cubes, we had Greek yogurt, we had fruit, nuts, all sorts of things, and they love them. These can be used for so many things, but I want to share another product that I got at Costco that I'm going to put with these waffles to make something I think people are going to go crazy over. And y'all are probably fully aware of these. These are the Just Bear breaded chicken breast chunks. Actually, I've got the the breast fillets as well, but I forgot to get them out of the freezer. You can get either of these at Costco, the chunks or the breasts. And there are four pounds, no additives, 16 gram of protein per serving, no hormones, no steroids. And if you don't know already, these are the closest thing to Chick-fil-A that you will get outside of going to Chick-fil-A. You can air fry these. You can do them in the conventional, conventional oven or microwave. I would not recommend microwaving. I'm going to tell you these either chunks or breasts. I think the breasts might be too big. On these waffles, you can make chicken and waffles to die for. The way I would recommend doing this is air frying or baking the chicken separately and putting it just on a pretty platter and keeping it warm, but putting it on a pretty platter and then putting these waffles and I would keep them wrapped and let 
Actually, you could let everyone unwrap their own waffles and then you would know that you know that you know that they're fresh. But I would suggest if you know people are coming over at a certain time and that you're going to eat right away, go ahead and unwrap these. Put the waffles on a platter right beside the chicken and people can make their own chicken and waffles. Probably the women will get one waffle and some chicken to do more of an open face. The men might do two waffles with this chicken in the middle. I would lay out hot honey. I would lay out some maple syrup. Guys, how fun and easy is this? I would recommend if you're doing it for a crowd, get two packages of these Belgian waffles because I think there's two, four, six, eight, ten. There's 12. I would get two or three. These keep for a long time. You can also freeze these they now have these. They move these around some. Yesterday, these were where they should be near all of the bread, all of the, the bread near the bakery. But if you don't see them there, ask because I've never seen them out of these, but they have moved them around two or three times over the last year, at least at my Costco. Okay. While we're in the bread aisle, I've talked about this millions of times, but I'm going to share it again. Never leave Costco without their rosemary parmesan two-pack. Just don't. You can take it out of this, can, this wrap that it's in and put each loaf into a freezer, two-gallon Ziploc. They're usually not going to fit into a gallon freezer Ziploc. I always keep two-gallon freezer Ziplocs. Get all the air out. These will keep six weeks. Just let them thaw at room temp the day you plan to slice and serve them that night. These are fabulous for cooking for a crowd when you need bread as a side. Now, since this is rosemary parmesan, I usually always do this bread with Italian. So I want to show you what I highly recommend you get at Costco. Two trays. This is so exciting. I've never seen this. I have had the Rayos frozen meals before. Excellent. They are excellent. But I've never seen this big jumbo two tray, five serving per tray casserole. This is eggplant parmesan, tender breaded eggplant slices and Rayo's marinara topped with imported Italian cheeses, no preservatives, artificial colors or flavoring. Guys, is anyone else raise your hand if you're so happy that now we have a choice beyond, and I'm not going to say, I don't want to diss any brands, but the brand that's been around forever that does not taste that great. We now have Rayos. So grab this. Now I just grabbed one. If this were the only thing I were going to serve our small group, I would have to get two or three. But I grabbed one because I'm serving it along with some spaghetti and something else I'm about to show you that you can get at Costco. So here is the other wonderful Costco product that you can use to easily and stress-free feed a crowd. This is in the frozen section, the Pasta Prima Spinach and Mozzarella Ravioli. It includes two herb and cheese, herb, excuse me, and cheese packets. And it is made with RBST free cheese. And guys, if you just look on the back, on the back, there are two recipes. And honestly, I want to make both of them. But what I am going to make for small group this Monday, lazy lasagna. Guys, all you do is you get this ravioli from Costco and it ha you get the packets of Parmesan and herb that are inside. And then you get 30 ounces of marinara and a pound of mozzarella and then salt and pepper to taste. And you make lazy lasagna. Oh my goodness. This will fill up. I mean, we have hungry young men who come. This will be filling. It will be delicious. It will go well with this Rayo's eggplant parmesan. And I'm also probably going to do spaghetti, but guys, this is a no brainer. So grab that when you're there. And while we're on that note, Costco almost always has Rayo's marinara, a pack, pack of two jars. And guys, I 
try to always have flexibility and say, well, just use your favorite. There is no, no question, hands down, that there are two, in my opinion, only two jarred pasta sauces that I will, that I will buy. One is Rayo's and the other is Mazetta. Mazetta is fabulous. It is a family owned company too. I will get it if it's on sale or less, just like I would get Rayo's. They're both good, but Rayo's, you can find at Costco. So grab your Rayo's and you've got your ravioli and everything in it. And then just get you some cheese and you can get a pound of mozzarella at Costco and you have a lazy lasagna. Okay, so we have that. This, and I'm going at the behest of my dear friend, Kim Laszlo. She has done my hair for over 10 years. She is a foodie. Everything she tells me to get, I buy. Her precious husband, Scott, goes to Costco every week. And he actually got this for me a few weeks ago. I said, I've got to have these. Tell Scott to grab them. So these will be on our table for small group Monday night. They are no antibiotics ever, certified gluten-free Jones Dairy Farm chicken meatballs. Kim said these are beyond fabulous. She's made them several ways. Uh, there's 80 meatballs, 14 grams of protein per six meatballs, no nitrites, no sugar. And it is a family farm, which I love supporting family businesses. So she said, I'm trying to look and see the ingredients. I do believe, oh yes, they're all natural and they're fully cooked. Now I'm just going to, this is just me. I'm not going to buy raw meatballs, not frozen. I want meatballs that are fully cooked where all you have to do is heat them long, low, and slow in a wonderful marinara like Rayo's and just get them soft and tender in that. So I don't want a raw meatball or a bag of raw meatballs that I'm worried may not be done. Meatballs to me can be tricky. So if they're cooked to me, that's the best. So I've got these. I may just put them in marinara sauce in the slow cooker. She also said they're great in basil pesto. These could be appetizer, main dish, whatever. So Jones Dairy Farm Chicken Meatballs. Okay. I think I've mentioned these before, guys, but I'm going to mention them again. I'm going to do for one of our small groups, it won't be this Monday, but I'm going to do a biscuit buffet where I'm going to get Callie's fabulous biscuits, Callie's hot little biscuit. You can get them now, I think almost anywhere. And I'm going to make a biscuit board and I'm going to have chicken fingers that you can put in the biscuits. And I'm going to have these Starbucks sous vide egg bites. These are next level delicious, next level delicious. They taste exactly like the ones at Starbucks. So I'm wondering if they're the same. I don't know, but get them. Last thing, and guys, it is so funny. Last night, the, all of my groceries were out when Zane got home. He literally begged me to open these. And I said, no, boo, these are for small group because they'll be gone. They are gin bake churro donut bites dusted with cinnamon and sugar. Look at these, my YouTube peeps. What I plan to do with these and what you can do with these with your family is lay these out, put them in a like a nice bowl and get either a fondue pot or a smaller slow cooker, melt some chocolate, white chocolate or chocolate and dip these into the chocolate fondue for dessert. Oh my goodness, guys. Now you, of course you can serve these plain, but what a fun, I'm going to order some long fondue forks and lay them out. There's their fondue forks. I think are pretty and everyone can pick up a fondue fork and get churro bites dip in the white chocolate or dark chocolate or milk chocolate for dessert. Okay, guys, that is, oh, I've got to end. We always want to think of our, our furry friends if there's a treat that we can't leave without. And guys, this is hysterical. And I wish my podcast people could see this. This is a turkey that is quite flamboyant looking, but it's colorful and it's for heavy chewers. So I bought this for Tucker since 
we're nearing Thanksgiving. So if you've got a dog and you hear this and you go to Costco pretty quickly, look for the turkey for your dog. He has been playing with it. So I think Tucker would say he recommends. So anyway, okay, guys, that's, all. oh, I'm going to finish with one thing that's not Costco, but guys, it's a game changer and I'm going to grab it right here for my YouTube peeps. And I'm going to link to this Walmart, which is now on the short list of my favorite stores. This slow cooker is the beautiful by Drew Barrymore. This is the white. It's got a digital interface. It has presets. So don't throw away your instructions. It You do need to read them because it's not just like three buttons or a knob, but it's easy once you learn. And then it has a little thing that you take the lid off and you prop the lid on top of the slow cooker. Sorry, I can't, it's hard to describe, but you don't have to put your lid on the countertop. You can prop it right here on this little gadget. I've used this. I've loved it so much. It cooked perfectly that I ordered a second one in cornflower blue because it's the exact blue of my kitchen blue. Guys, the price is probably half of what normal slow cookers are and it's beautiful and it's practical. So I'll link to that. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope that my tips make entertaining and cooking for more than one or two. I hope that it helps you have no stress and have some little tricks up your sleeve because there's nothing more rewarding than inviting people into your home and being able to serve great food that did not cause you a lot of stress. So hope this was helpful. I appreciate all of you so much. Always send me any questions or comments, jamie at familysavvy.com. And until next time, you have a fabulous rest of your day. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Savvy Cast. If you'll take the time to rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes, that would mean so much. As always, thank you for listening and have a blessed day. Thank you.